Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on all the mods Gravitas and today as you guys can see from here I'm going to show you how to use a bloomery Now before I show you that, I already tested it and I got these guys so I'm, I'm, I'm going to actually try and do them right now So basically there's a little bit of a feature or something, it's not even a feature It's something that I can give you guys let me just see. One, two, three, four. And apparently one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah. Well, basically, this is how you're going to try and work your raw iron bloom into a wrought iron ingot, which I just did. But you might be wondering, well, how did I get my hands on these guys? Let me actually just pull out the charcoal out of here because I don't. I'm gonna need charcoal right now. We have the bloomery, yes, and I also made a little bit of a shack. It's still a work in progress because resources are kind of scarce. Uh, I also make a tool rack so I don't have to keep the tools always in my inventory. I made a couple of bronze tools, uh, a bronze shovel, a bronze pick, and a bronze hammer, and I think I still have some bronze laying around. Uh, but yeah, what you want to be doing first and foremost is get yourself some charcoal We went through this in the last episode. I think pretty sure um, The way you get charcoal is that you got to place some blocks down and then you got to light them all up and then you got to cover everything with Well non burnable blocks because I mean you're gonna put things on fire, right? So you don't want them to burn then what you want to be doing is grabbing your charcoal and some iron. I'm still, uh, or cast iron, I should say. Uh, I don't really know the proportions because it's sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a little bit weird. This is also a little bit bigger than it technically is supposed to be the first time you do it. But yeah, just like this. If you toss this thing in and you see that it didn't actually use all my charcoal because i believe i can still put some more iron into this right oh no wait what it only can use half of it what about the rest oh there we go it, it, it now use the rest uh okay but at the same time it didn't use the rest uh okay this is <laughs> It's being a little bit weird. Yeah, you see. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what's happening. There you go. Boom. Perfect. And I think I can still like give it a little bit more, but it's all right. It's all right. And yeah, if you made the bloomery, of course, if you don't know how you make this bloomery, you just scatter work bronze, bismuth bronze or black bronze into a double sheets. And you do this by putting into the anvil and you put it like of and they they can be worked. You get like the normal bronze ingot or like bismuth. They go I, I went through this in the last video, so if you want to check, you can go over there because it's it's a little bit of a process. You gotta keep heating it up, putting it into the anvil, hammer it down, and when you have two of the same things, you gotta put them together. And yeah, it's a little bit tedious, but yeah at the last like you, you're gonna get this so it, it's worth it's worth it and of course i also had to upgrade to a bronze anvil to do that uh so i kind of wasted a lot of bronze into making this bronze anvil but you know it, it, it it's worth it because you need it to to use uh right now and if you shift right click with a torch this thing is gonna actually start doing something now as you can see, it says creating raw iron bloom. And what's going to happen is after these 15 minutes, when you come back, you're going to have a ore, basically, literally like something like of an ore inside. And you're just going to hammer it down and you got to get these raw iron blooms. Now you can see this guy's a little bit worked with what we're trying to do right now. So I'm going to try and put this guy back up to heat. And then we'll try to show you how to process this now here we go i can work on this which means we can now just try 
and make this i'm gonna do it like so it's 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 gonna be hard yeah there you go now it's refined iron bloom and it basically has two stages the raw iron and then refined iron and then it ends up in the wrought iron so if you have this hot enough you can technically like do it all in one go and let's put it back over here again now i'm using a guide which tells me to click this six times and it's already over so because then i had to bend and do two of these and it's not gonna work right you see so the the guide is not that great <laughs> it is not that great because the apparently it's not randomized for but i believe the guide was made like for a specific guy and for me the ores are not the same so i i just had trying to guess sometimes yeah there you go that's too much that's too much no hit nope that's too much <laughs> it's gonna take a time man there we go boom rod iron okay so now we have iron so we just have to do this like over and over again ideally you would find a rhythm uh i'm gonna do one at a time actually ideally you find a rhythm where you know how many times you have to click that's why i was trying to check on the guide i can still leave the guide down below it, it actually helps you on making the picks and uh, the axes and the swords and all of those things uh it helped me uh, so yeah i'll still leave it down below for you there we go it has been finished and as you can see it has four four no five five of these and you just mine it and you get five raw iron blooms and then you can just do the cycle again as long as you have cast iron and charcoal and we go over here yeah we have all of these goodies we have six rot iron ingots and i'm gonna need four because i want to make the grill the rock iron grill because this will allow me to cook more than one food at a time so it's going to be really really helpful and in case you're wondering well how much like how did i get all of this cut ruby well it, it, it's this guy the miner i got it uh don't worry he has like a weird pricing right now because i kind of punched him <laughs> by accident but yeah i was trading highlight to get cut rubies and then using cut rubies to buy bitumous coal now this trade has been locked i don't know if he resets his trades i don't i would love to know if you guys know please let me down let, them, let me know down below in the comments jesus my english today uh, but i can still use topaz to get bitumous coal so i'm gonna try and look for another guy that trades me uh, that i can trade something for topaz now uh, one of the things that i want to get into next is a little bit of enchanting and we do actually have two enchantment tables which means if we can get ourselves some bookshelves well then we can get some enchantments now there is a couple of recipes that you guys can see like for example this guy this recipe right here gives me four of those but if this one also gives me four of these and this one only takes one book right you see where i'm going this is the same one also gives me four 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 they all give me four but they only take one book now the book is the same recipe paper and leather and i'm out here working on the leather right now i do have which is now large soaked hide which we can take off and now we need to scrape this hide and to do that and of course let's just take this one as well and i don't think i have anything else yeah yeah that one's another is another version uh we have the soaked hides and what you do is you right click them onto a log they will appear here and then you need to start right clicking and scraping off what's basically the supposed to be the excess just like so and then you can see we have a large a large like normal scraped scraped hide and then you just repeat this in all of these ones there we go it's pretty straightforward it, it 
you can't leave anything unturned. It needs to be all turned. There you go. But I just like don't like, like the damage that it does to the <laughs> to the knife because. I'm using, of course I'm using, and it wasn't even done. Uh, I'm using the normal stone knife. And you can take a look at this, like, uh... Takes quite a hell of a beating. There you go, and there's one more, and my knife is not even gonna hold up. So I'm most likely gonna do a bronze knife to finish this guy off. And then, what you do with this, is that you put it in water, becomes large prepared hide. And then it goes into tannin. And boom, you get leather. And you know, I made a little bit of things with create thanks to the first iron that we got. And we can actually use the iron that we already had to produce some more things. Now, I have a basin right over here because I actually got my hands on some wool. And I do not want to make a spindle when we can use this automation right here. Oh, this actually needs the spindle as well. Whoops. <laughs> but well. Uh, we're gonna need a, a mixer eventually and I believe we still have a little bit of things Yeah, a little bit of overflow. We have a whisk uh, I'm not sure we have The other thing. Yeah, we need a cogwheel, which is a shaft and two planks. Okay, so yeah, let's grab let's grab that Well, yeah, I decided to take this in another direction uh, and using the tombstone books that I had because I realized I, I, I don't have sugarcane. I've, I've never found sugarcane. I don't know where it is. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm going to use these books, which can give me up to 20 bookshelves, which hopefully is enough. So time for the real question. Oh, God, <laughs> that looks cursed. That looks really, really cursed. Uh, well, I guess they should fix that. Let's break this. Yeah, let's, oh, this actually has a durability. I didn't know about that. Uh, well, this, this is going to be temporary. I just want to see if this actually works. And I really do not like this texture. Oh, no. Uh, it is. It does seem to be working. Level 30. Yeah, it does work. That's that's pretty good. No, that's actually pretty good. Now I just need to get some levels. And I can get those levels pretty easily if I use this sword right here. Because it's going to absorb the enemy drops into, into experience. So I can just find a spawner and keep killing them. And then I can enchant these items. Because I was trying to get fortune i want to see fortune works on these ores uh the terra firma craft ores because if it does then that will really boost me well took some farming took some trading but there we go we have an enchanted and fortune pick now the fortune is what i'm really after and if you're wondering how i'm getting like these random ores is because i have boon of earth which means ores may be found when mining stone. This is a very low chance, but I've got quite a few of them. Like, for example, the diamond ones. And I think it was, it was an emerald or something that I have. Uh, I got a nickel. Uh, now I also have this one. Yeah, I got nickel. Now I got bauxite. Uh, yeah, I got two diamonds and emeralds. Yeah, those are from there. I also enchanted the shovel. Shovel got unbreaking. Don't really matter that much. Got the fishing rod unbreaking as well. Because uh, I don't think this actually has any other like enchant that it needs. Oh, you can actually have Luck of the Sea, though. So I have to see if it's worth maybe re-enchanting or something. I'm not sure. I was still going to go for the enchanting on the hammer for unbreaking at least. Uh, but I didn't quite get it. So let's try out the fortune. I also traded with a farmer for some sugarcane seeds. But they're like it's way too cold right now for them to grow. So, yeah, kind of need to wait for it to be like normal spring and, and the temperature to raise a little bit. Oh, yeah, I made a mining laser, which is, well, completely useless because I don't have a way to charge it. I've been trying to look for ways to charge it and I believe the solar panel is the easiest way to do it. But I need steel ingots. But in order for me to get steel ingots, I need an arch furnace. 
and the arch furnace takes steel on its own like how am i supposed to do this uh i need i think i need a blast furnace but then the blast furnace takes steel so I, i'm i'm very confused with how i'm supposed to get this uh i think high carbon steel oh hold on high carbon steel big iron how do you make pig iron oh wow really you make pig iron by smelting pig iron well okay sure so how do i get pig iron let's let's try fortune that's only one only one and that is only one so I'm guessing fortune doesn't work. Yeah, I'm guessing fortune doesn't work at all in here. Uh, that's a little bit of a shame, actually. Oh, it's only for some, though. Some blocks like coal and diamond ore may drop additional items. So, is there a way for me to check what fortune actually is used on? Because we can go up to fortune 8. Uh, but it doesn't really tell you. Yeah. Only some blocks like coal and diamond. So, not going to help me a lot right now, really. There we go, I now got my hands on 36 and fired bricks, which I believe that's all I need to actually make a coke oven. So let's see if my calculations are correct. And they are. We have 27 coke bricks, which means we have now access to the coke oven. Now this bad boy is gonna allow us to finally finally get creosote or creosote and that using our new hammer boom we can make now coke and we can also use uh wood here to make us some charcoal like for example if you check on the recipe for charcoal yeah we can just thrust in some wood it's gonna burn it will give us charcoal and the charcoal will give us creosote oil now i believe we can still put the charcoal through and make cold coke which means i may want to do another one of these okay now please do you work here y you don't y y it, it doesn't work so how can i um make something better i don't i don't know how i can use this creosote because in order to pick it up, I need a bucket. But the bucket is way too expensive for me right now. Uh, because it takes blue steel and red steel. And those need to be processed. Like so, through welding and normal steel ingot. Red steel needs me to smelt either red steel or I need an eye carbon steel which comes from welding weak red and black steel but black steel needs steel and steel needs what I'm working on so how can I get this out of here guys I think I mastered this so if you're heating up iron what you want to do is you want to hit on shrink until you reach just past it then you hit upset then bend and then just small hits Boom. And you do this every single time. It's as easy as this. I'm just heating it up here. Uh, I, I know it says danger, but it's just only heating up to white and only when it's brilliant white, it's going to do anything to the to the iron. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. No, it's, it's just a question of getting yourself a rhythm. Like, as soon as you get a rhythm going and you figure out what combination works, boom, that, that, there you go. It's, it's, it's super simple, super simple. 
course, you don't want to overclick or else you have to reset. Would you look at that? A notion and some sheep. I was really, really needing these sheep because they give me wool. And I'll finally be able to have it. Why, why is the game lagging so much? Is it because of the ocean? Oh, maybe. Uh, but now I'll be able to do this. I need, I think I need two extra wool. Yeah, so... Bye, sheep. You're too far away for me to take home. I need to find closer ones. Why is the... The game is lagging a lot here, but yeah. We got ourselves 32 wool yarn. We already had some, so which means we can make a bed. Uh, we have some seaweed. Uh, which I guess we can cook. Yeah, we can cook. It counts as a vegetable. But what I need from here is kelp. Which... Oh, driftwood as well. What is driftwood? Oh, it's just something to burn. So, let's try and dive in. And there it is. Kelp. Oh, look at the distance I had to make by boat. I just hop, hopped onto this river and I just kept going. It could have gone up, but since I knew that uh, this snowy area didn't, uh, didn't go up. And luckily I was able to find it here. I was ready to like, keep on going. You know, because... Uh, yeah, we needed kelp. Now we have it. And this is why I wanted the kelp. Because we wanted to cook it. And we are now able to make a spout. Now I'm going to use this depot right here. And I hope this works. Uh, I have a solution if this doesn't work. But I really hope this works. Uh, which is put this here. Put this here. And please. Please work. Oh. Hold on. It, it, it is connecting, but it's not pulling, which this is why I made this guy the pump, but the pump needs power. So, yep, I need plan B. Well, this is plan B, which requires beehives. The problem with this is, as, as you can see, this has a chance of getting a bee. One in 40. It goes up if I place, I think I can place like 20 more flowers, uh, but it's, it's, it's going to take a while. It's a 1 in 40 chance each day, I think, for me to get one bee. One. One bee. I have no bees. I, I, I should have seen this coming. Well, but I guess that means that today this is the end of the episode because I probably need to AFK here to get bees so I can progress. But... Nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And please tell me down below anything, anything, please. I need help. Send help, please.